Hello everyone. Welcome to the series on best of IPM. I am Jaimin Shah. This particular question is from IPMAT 2019 QA MCQ section. Solve this question, pause your video and then come back for the solution. Hello everyone. If you like our content and want to experience the IMS pedagogy, then join our zero fee pep program that will give you access to concept videos sectional test and full length mock test and many more for free. To avail this, please click on the link mentioned under the description box below. Happy learning! So if you look at this particular question, if x belongs to a comma b, it satisfies the inequality given inequality, then the largest possible value of b minus a is. So basically I need to find out the values that x can take, the range, because that's what it is, x belongs to a comma b, right? Let's see how can we solve this question. So, what I can do is, I can rewrite this expression, I can rewrite this inequality as x minus 3 upon x square plus 3x plus 2 minus 1 is less than or equal to 0. Now I can multiply this entire thing, the entire denominator with minus 1. So what will I get? I will get minus of x square, uh, then 3 minus 3x plus x gives me minus 2x and then I will have minus 5 upon x square plus 3x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 0. Right? Now I can take the negative sign outside in the numerator and I will be left with x square plus 2x plus 5 upon x square plus 3x plus 2 less than or equal to 0 multiplying by negative side on both the sides. Now if you observe very carefully guys. The discriminant for the numerator that is delta is nothing but as 4 b square that is 4 minus 4 a c that is 20. So the delta is basically negative which means if delta is negative the roots are not real and hence they lie above x axis. So the output, I mean the value of this expression x square plus 2x plus 5 will always be positive, right? So if positive upon something is less than or equal to 0, that gives me x square plus 3x plus 2 should be less than or equal to 0, right? So when I solve this, what do I get? Uh, this is basically x plus 2 into x plus 1 less than or equal to 0, right? So if you try to plot the inequality here, the value here is minus 2 and minus 1. And since it is between, you know, it is less than, it is less than, so it is between minus 2 and minus 1. And here, you may say there is an equal to sign here, but there is a round bracket here. That is because this particular expression is in denominator and denominator cannot be equal to 0. So, the, I mean, x will be between minus 2 and minus 1. It will not be equal to minus 2 or it will not be equal to minus 1. So, from here, I get a comma b. as minus 2 comma minus 1. So, b minus a will be nothing but as minus 1 minus of minus 2 and that is equal to 1 and that is the correct answer. Now, I would want you to solve this replica question. Comment your answer in the comment section and we will get back to you within 24 hours. Oh,